today on Teach Me How to Vegan. So this so, episode yeah. focusing on green chili, not red. Maybe we'll do another one on red. This one's green. Right. And, you know, the rest of the discussion will hopefully be fun for New Mexicans and non-New Mexicans yes. alike. Because we're going to talk about all, not all actually, because it would take us forever. But we're going to talk about many ways that we enjoy green chili. Mm-hmm. And so you can listen along tell us yes i do that or yes i do that or if it's new to you you can just yes because we're gonna start with like the obvious things Mm -hmm. and then we're gonna go into some that are probably obvious if you're a new mexican but maybe not Mm -hmm. or it might not be obvious and then we're gonna talk about some fun different things to try Mm -hmm. right welcome to teach me how to vegan a podcast where we explore how to switch to a vegan diet I'm Tony, a health educator, fitness instructor, and plant-based eating program manager for Animal Protection of New Mexico. I'm Mickey, a stay-at-home homeschooling mom and vegan cook who likes to play in the kitchen. Our family stopped eating meat in 2007. And we went vegan in 2016. Now we like to share with others what we've learned. Thanks for joining us. Let's get started. Welcome to the show. As always, thank you for joining us. We Today we're talking about green chili mm. and... This could be an entire podcast, actually. (laughs) Probably, yes. Episodes every week about green chili. But we're (laughs) going to do our best to pack it all into one fun episode. Mm -hmm. Just the highlights, I guess. Right. We'll just give you the highlights. Before we get into the green chili... Goodness. Goodness. We have an exciting announcement to make. You want to tell them, Mickey, a little bit about our event we've got coming up? So we have a webinar happening where it is a sort of cook with us as we go so when you register you will get the ingredient list that you can gather beforehand and you can cook along with us it's a new format so we're trying something new so should be exciting and a bit of a test run but exactly (laughs) live and on the fly (laughs) (laughs) yeah but you know a virtual cooking class yes you know we used to do like classes in person Mm -hmm. where you could actually get your hands in the mix. In the mix. Yeah. Thank you. Good way of putting it. And, you know, we're trying to figure out ways to do that virtually. So mm-hmm. you can do your shopping ahead of time and cook with us mm-hmm. virtually. Yes. Yeah. And the recipe we do we are doing is green chili chicken Alfredo pasta. Mm. So it's something different than like green chili chicken enchiladas or, you know, green chili stew or mm-hmm. something like that. Like the typical right stuff you hear about yeah and this was just something i had randomly thought of years and years and years ago before we went even vegetarian i was just like i think green chili chicken alfredo pasta sounds really tasty with garlic bread on the side little salad and it was really tasty Mm -hmm. it was delicious and then i think we had it like one more time and then we went vegetarian and never had it again (laughs) (laughs) so if you register uh the link will be in the show notes Mm -hmm. so you can join us we would love to have you and it's going to be exciting because alfredo's sauce is not something that is easy to come by in the vegan world right so you've got to figure out how to make it from Mm -hmm. scratch or make it on your own And we're going to show you how to do it easily. Yes. Because if you've listened to any of this podcast, you know that we're not into labor intensive. Very rarely. Work in the kitchen. It's (laughs) a rare occasion. And so we're going to teach you a way that everyone can do it. Mm -hmm. So if you're just looking to add it or if you're looking to get a little more adventurous, Mm -hmm. join us. And so it's going to be Tuesday, October 5th at... 6 p.m. Mountain Time. Yes. So adjust to your time zone accordingly. <laughs> yes. And then the other thing to know is green chili is, is a very New Mexican thing. I never n- really even knew about it until moving to New Mexico. So being from Miami and the East Coast, it was brand new to me. However, in all my travels since being introduced to New Mexico, I've or since being introduced to green chili... Um, you can at least find the sort of canned diced green chili. Yeah, we'll get into that. So I just want to say that like even if you are not in New Mexico, because I know we do have some listeners who are not new- in New Mexico, you can still look in. It's usually by the salsas and the jalapenos that there's the canned diced green chili. It is, I'm going to forewarn you, it is not the same as 
frozen roasted green chili. So we'll get into those here in a little bit, but just know that you should have some options even if you're outside of sort of the green chili sphere because it bleeds into like New Mexico and or it bleeds into Arizona and Colorado and Texas and but once you start getting to a certain point you're not finding it the the roasted stuff. Right. Yeah. That's a good segue. Because some people might be like, why are you doing this episode? Like an entire episode on green yeah. chili. It's not, it might sound out of out of nowhere, like an entire episode on bell peppers or an entire <laughs> episode on tomatoes. Like it but, sounds kind of weird, like yeah. picking one vegetable and really going in on it. So if you're from New Mexico, you, you know exactly yeah. what we're doing. And if you're not, or if you're kind of a little confused... You know, let's talk a little bit about that. Like, yes. So being from New Mexico, you know, I was born and raised here, lived in New Mexico my entire life. And then Mickey moved out to New Mexico 18 years ago. Ni- yeah, almost 19, 19 years like now. That. Yeah, something like that. So you're pretty much a New Mexican at yeah. this point. <laughs> Definitely. A, a, I'm a transplant technically, but right, been here transplant. so long yeah. that it's almost half my life pretty soon, actually. Right. And so here in New Mexico, green chili is our pride and joy. Oh, my gosh. It's like our thing. We put it on everything. Mm -hmm. Year round. mm -hmm. Because there's a season for it. Yes. When it's fresh. Yes. And so now is the season. Like it's in the fall Mm -hmm. when it's ready. The harvest is ready. And then it's just roasting green chili everywhere you go the farmer's markets every grocery yeah. store they have the giant roasters outside and the smell of roasting oh, green chili so is in the wh- air so good and you know it's fall nothing when... like it like yeah. there's just nothing like it it's fall in new mexico when you smell the roasting green chili yeah and it's amazing you just buy a giant bushel of the fresh picked chili peppers and then you take it to the ro- the roaster outside and they roast your whole bag and you can buy them smaller and you can do small batches like at home. You can, if you have a gas propane stove or a natural gas stove, you can do just roast on the top. Um, I think some people might have even done it on the grill, right? Mm-hmm. You've done that you before. You can do it on the grill, yeah. But then it's a whole process, especially if you get a bag of green chili or a couple and we've done this a couple times Mm -hmm. where we go to the store and we buy a bag of green chili and it's a whole day like you got to be ready for it because you cover your table you it comes back so they roast it and they put it in like a plastic bag Mm -hmm. to sweat and it loosens the skins Mm -hmm. and then you take it home and we always just opened like trash bags and spread them out on the kitchen table and then you sit there and you peel your green chili Mm-hmm. by hand with mm-hmm. gloves and don't rub your eyes because don't not wear gloves <laughs> don't not like wear you, gloves yes wear gloves <laughs> yes and definitely don't rub your eyes because oh my word even if you're just doing a couple like if yes. you're not in new mexico and you're like you found them at your grocery store and you're like i'm gonna roast some on my stove top and i'm just doing like, even like a half dozen i'm just doing like six i don't need yeah. gloves for that do i yes Please you do. need gloves <laughs> For that, especially if you like wear contacts oh my or want to like have any contact with <laughs> yes, a any mucus of your membrane. Face. On, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Again, yeah, do it, do it. Yeah, and then so, and then you 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 get the choice where it's like, do you just peel them and then you put them in a bag whole with the seeds and the stem still, or you can de-seed it and take the stem off, and you have that ready to go. You can chop it, and then you have chopped, and then they come mild medium and hot and then sometimes you know you have to like sometimes brands are different spicy levels and it's a whole thing in New Mexico it's really interesting like I said I didn't even know what green chili was really until I moved to New Mexico and I wasn't into spicy things so even being not from New Mexico I wasn't really into spicy things before so it's not like it was on my radar Mm -hmm. but it's interesting because I I remember you telling me the first time that like you traveled out of New Mexico and you knew you were out of the range when green chili wasn't on like the McDonald's menu yeah (laughs) yeah Actually, yeah, it was Taco Bell, and I was, like, appalled. Mm-hmm. No, I, or it was a burger joint first. It's yeah. like, I can't get green chili on my burger? What are you talking about? <laughs> and then, yeah, my cousins were like, that's only a New Mexico, Mexico thing. thing. Okay, weird, but okay. And then, like, the next, uh, later on, we're at Taco Bell, and I try to get a green chili burrito, and they're like... Mm-hmm looking at me like i'm weird and my cousins are like tony green chili is only in new mexico i'm like even at taco bell (laughs) (laughs) what do you mean yeah (laughs) 
So definitely <laughs> a regional thing. Like, I believe it's still true that we are the only state that has a state question and a state answer. And the question is red or green mm-hmm. in reference to red or green chili. And then the answer is Christmas, mm-hmm. which is both together. Right. So, however, super debatable. People have very strong feelings about it's this. It's one of those ones where there's no right or wrong. Right, yeah. That's like it's asking someone flavoring. what their favorite football team yeah. is or who's the best football who's, team. Yeah. That's silly. Everyone's going to have their own answer. Yeah. And they're all valid, except it's the Saints. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, back to green chili. All right. So, this so, episode yeah. focusing on green chili, not red. Maybe we'll do another <laughs> one on red. This one's green. Right. And, and so, this, you know, the rest of the discussion... Will hopefully be fun for New Mexicans and non-New Mexicans alike because we're going to talk about all, not all actually, because it would take us forever, but we're going to talk about many ways that we enjoy green chili. Mm -hmm. And so you can listen along, tell us, yes, I do that, or yes, I do that, or if it's new to you, you can just vibe with us. Yes. Because we're going to start with like the obvious things, Mm -hmm. and then we're going to go into some that are probably obvious if you're a New Mexican, but maybe not. Mm-hmm. or it might not be obvious and then we're going to talk about some fun different things to try mm-hmm. right so real quick before we get into that really fun conversation i just wanted to acknowledge all of the people that work really hard yes. to grow and harvest our green chili yes it is every time i talk to somebody who does that i tell them you're doing god's work <laughs> and i thank you so much and it yeah, is and so to important not be hyperbolic about it either like it's that like amazing it is literally i mean it's you know food is medicine and green Mm -hmm. chili is everything it's super high in vitamin physically spiritually it's like everything yeah (laughs) to me and it's it's it was definitely like you know a lot of people i feel like know about the the three sisters Mm -hmm. like that a lot of native americans across the country knew the three sisters well in new mexico green chili was added to that a lot and it's super high in vitamin C, like more than strawberries. Uh-huh. It is. And the three sisters are? Are corn, squash, and beans. Right. Because yeah. they grow perfectly together. together. They complement mm-hmm. each other and all of that. And they're good to eat together. Yes. Right? And the nutrients yeah. combine. And when you add the green chili, yep. it adds not only the flavor, but the nutrients, Mm -hmm. like the green chili you said, so high in vitamin C, helps you absorb the iron from From the the beans. beans. It's like, it's just a match made in heaven. Mm -hmm. If you can't tell, I'm very ecstatic (laughs) and passionate about this. Yes. So yeah. So the the, the farmers and the harvesters. Thank you to them, a a huge acknowledgement. And I recently listened to a podcast episode on a a different podcast called let's talk new mexico where Mm -hmm. they were talking about threats to green chili and it was Mm. really saddening to me and you know we don't want to get into the weeds of that here but if you want more information on that uh, we'll link that episode in the show Mm -hmm. notes and you can learn more about that but just you know there's it was really interesting there's some rough times right now shortages some labor shortages You know, uh, the sales to restaurants aren't as high because of the pandemic and so forth. And so, you know, the best we can do to support and help keep this going. Yes. Because it's so important to us. Yeah. So definitely acknowledging and thanking the farmers and harvesters. Yeah, Mm -hmm. for sure. All right. Okay. Let's talk. Okay. So let's talk about where to buy it and what you might look for. Yes. If you're not in New Mexico. Sure. Or even if you are and you missed the, the roasting season. Yeah. point and you're like, okay, what now? Yes. So sometimes in New Mexico, some farmer's markets will have it like year round in the frozen section. We used to buy it at, some, at a little mom and pop farmer's market on like Wantabo or you Oh, yes. In the little like Ziploc bags. Yes. And frozen whole mm-hmm. peeled green chili. Yeah. So you could look around for there. But if not, you can find, uh, you know, I think the next best thing, if it's not fresh roasted, is the frozen, frozen. ones. Yes. Right. Agreed. It tastes more. And some of them, when you defrost them and heat them up, it's almost smells, smells like, ro- the ro- yeah. like the green chili roasting. Yes. And it's beautiful and glorious yeah. in, in your kitchen, <laughs> fresh mm-hmm. out of your microwave or whatever. <laughs> yeah. So our favorite brand... Or I'll speak for myself and then you can no, say. No, I agree because I once we found this one and we all liked it, Listen, we don't buy anything else. Right. It's yeah. the Young Guns brand. Yes. It's Young Guns Hatch New, New, New Mexico, Mexico Green, Green Chili. Yeah. 
You find it in the frozen section. And we've been surprised how far from New Mexico we found this yeah. in grocery stores. So it's I think worth we found it in California. Like Northern California. Yeah. Right? Over this, yeah, I think so. So it's worth a look. And then if you don't see the young guns, you might find something else. If you can get a fire roasted, if it says fire roasted and you can see sort of the little black specks on it, you're probably going to get that very close to roasted smell wafting out of your microwave. Mm, good tip. I think yep. that's that's a good thing to look for is sort of the like little black specks that sometimes just stay on the chili even after you've peeled it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Another common brand is Bueno. Yes. And that you can find in the frozen section mm-hmm. and then select New Mexico. Yeah. And by the way, another just quick little fun fact that I learned from that other podcast is there's actually a New Mexico green chili advertising act. Oh. So you cannot advertise that your chili is from New Mexico unless it actually, actually is. is. Yeah. And they, you know, if if like they verify it. Yeah. And there's actually a verified New Mexico green chili registration list. Oh. <laughs> so okay. you can look it up. And See, we take the green the New Mexico <laughs> takes green chili very seriously. Like don't say it's from New Mexico if it's not really, really from, from New, New Mexico. Mexico. But so I'm not surprised because there are neighboring states that have worked on coming into the green chili industry. Mm-hmm. I'll put and, it and, neutrally like that. Okay. There you go. <laughs> But so it's good to know. You can't just say it's from New Mexico if it's not mm-hmm. really. F- so if it says it's from New Mexico, chances are it genuinely, genuinely is, is because yeah. otherwise, like this group is coming for those people. Yeah. But w- I'll link that registration list in the show notes. You can check it out. <laughs> and with all of that said, when I looked at it, I didn't see Young Guns. Oh. And I was, I think it was Young Guns, and I was like really worried. And so I like read all the fine print on Young Guns. Uh huh website to make sure and it's like it's grown in hatch and it's okay and and their operation is in albuquerque and i was like okay it really is i'm i don't know why they're not on the registration Reg- yeah. list i'm not to work on that yeah. but anyway <laughs> all of that said let's come back to yeah <laughs> so there's your frozen selections i think the next best after frozen is jarred like i in think a jar. so too and so i'm sure some people are going to be like well you just recommended canned if i can only find canned mm-hmm. and it will work i think the reason why we're doing fresh frozen jarred canned is because the canned has almost like is it like a pickling flavor almost do you want to say that maybe or you know, maybe like, it's like a little bit of lemon juice or lime juice or something. There's something else in the can that makes it taste a little different than mm-hmm. the rest of Changes the, the options. Changes the flavor yeah. profile. Yes, there you go. Mm-hmm. But when it's jarred, it's and a lot of times the jars are like green chili sauce. Sauce, yeah. Or, or something, so it's not just pure green chili. Mm-hmm. It's got like garlic and spices and something and it's kind of yeah. saucy. Yeah. Which is fine because mm-hmm. when I do fresh green chili, I'll add garlic and onion and whatever. Yeah. And anyway, then when we so cook it's with it, just done yeah. for you. When we cook with it, we add that stuff typically anyway also. Yeah. So it's not like you're and not if, gonna get the same. And if experience. the meal you're cooking with needs to be saucy anyway, that might be the way to go over the canned Mm -hmm. like a lot of times you want it to be saucy right as we'll get into yes very soon and so uh, and actually i'm confusing myself because the jarred brand that's so good in a jar is 505 Mm -hmm. hatch valley Mm -hmm. and that i'm i'm think the 505 Hatch Valley is the one I didn't see on the website. Oh, okay. But Young Guns but was. But Young Guns was. There okay. was one that I was like, how is this, how not, is on this there? not on there? And then I read the fine print and it is legit. But and anyway, the 505 Hatch Valley, it's so good. Yeah, it is. It really is. And like when you just open the jar, again, it yeah. s- smells like roasted green chili. Mm-hmm. So that's a good one to get. Yes. And we have seen that in a jar in Costco as far as... Washington, Washington state. state mm-hmm. Yes. So that's, you can probably find that most places. That I was might like, be a little more nationwide. Yeah. When yeah. I saw it, I'm like 505, we made it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and that's a good one. We've only ever seen the medium 
spicy yeah. level no at Costco. We've hot, never seen so. the mild or or hot, and the medium. It's fine for Tony, but it and Fortune, but it's just hot enough that Tina and I can't do very much of it. Yeah, it can, it can get spicy yeah. for a lot of people. So, so just try lightly. All of that is again, spicy levels are so subjective. So exactly. try it out because that five oh five brand is actually very good. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's another good jarred one called Santa Fe Olay. Oh yes. And I, I haven't really seen that outside of New Mexico, yeah. but you know, keep an eye for that because it's really That's legitimate. a good one too. Mm-hmm. But we saw did we see that one at Costco in New Mexico? I think so. I think we I did. I can't remember. I know I see it lots of other places. Because we were surprised. Yeah. Maybe so. Sounds good. And then the canned ones. But other ways you can find those just in grocery stores, right? The Santa Fe Olay right. and the 505. Right. Because right. I I know I've seen the 505, like a smaller jar. Because, of course, at Costco, it's a big jar or you get a two pack. And just a regular size jar at like Walmart or Sprouts or something like that in town. Right. Yeah. Right. All right. And then the couple, the few canned brands that we've seen one is hatch it's just hatch mm-hmm. green chili and then ortega yeah and they come in like smaller cans yeah so. i think walmart has a brand too like a Wal- a great value brand they might at this point yeah. i don't know if it's verified new mexico but. right <laughs> or if maybe the walmart brand is only in new mexico mm-hmm. but the other ones the ortega and the isn't there an el patio too i don't i don't think i've seen that one let me look green chili yeah, there is a there's a Walmart brand, and it says fire roasted and peeled. There's the Ortega. There's another one that says Macayos and La Victoria. Oh, I forgot about La Victoria. Yeah, okay. and this one says, oh, the the jarred one is five hundred five Southwestern Hatch Valley. Hmm. The southwestern is very obvious under the five hundred five. Yeah, no, that's it. So no El Patio. So it was the it was the Ortega, the um, La Victoria, Macayos, and there's a great value brand as well. Okay. Okay. So for me, wrong. I thought ones. it was just Hatch and mm-hmm. Ortega, but yeah, and the and the Ortegas. I think it looks like a lot of them come in different flavors too, like hot, medium, and mild mm-hmm. as well. So you get to choose there, and and like sometimes what I do when I want, I kind of really only do this with the red chili because I wasn't finding a medium flavor. But I'll take a hot and a mild and combine it to make a medium. So if mm-hmm. you can't, if you think like the mild is you want something medium and you can't find a medium, maybe combining two cans yeah. will work for you. We've done that with the bueno sometimes yes. when that's all when we that's can all find. The, yeah. And then they usually only have hot and mild. mild. And you just yes. get one of each and mix them. And mix them, exactly. So, good tips. All right, so now let's talk about how do we how do we eat green chili? What do we do with it? Whew. Well, first, there's let's talk about the obvious. So this, is, this might sound a little bit like the... Like Forrest and Bubba scene mm-hmm. <laughs> with all the ways Bubba talks about shrimp. Mm-hmm. It's gonna, yep, yeah, we, that's the joke in New Mexico. That's it's the, like, yeah. green chili this, green, green chili, chili that, that. Green yep. Chili that. <laughs> right? Yes. So, first of all, my favorite way is when it's freshly roasted to just eat it plain in a tortilla. Yes, it is. Like, your I just favorite. take a few giant peppers that are fresh mm-hmm. roasted and peeled, throw them in a tortilla, put, as much garlic as my heart desires and just eat and it. Just eat, roll it up and eat it. However, you are a bit of a snob on what kind of tortilla you use on your <laughs> fresh roasted. Well, most New Mexicans are. <laughs> yes. So let's get very specific and be honest. The best way to do it is homemade tortillas yep. that Mickey just, oh, this is like the best <laughs> thing you'll ever eat in your life. I think this is heaven when Mickey just takes the tortilla off the oh, stove yep. and then you put the fresh green chili on it and then... <laughs> your garlic powder and maybe a little salt and wrap it up like i will eat them and then eat another one and eat it and just eat it till i get a stomach ache <laughs> and then i'll just sit there happy as can be with my stomach ache and peel the rest of the, bag, peel of the, rest of the bag yeah it's joyful yep all right <laughs> so a little slice of heaven for tony <laughs> yes <laughs> All right. And then the other obvious ones like burritos, mm-hmm. you can put it in your burrito or smother it, just pour it all over on pour top. It, yes. This is where the sauce, the green chili yeah. sauce comes into mm-hmm. play. You could do that. Enchiladas. Yes. Super good. And we have a recipe for green chili chicken enchiladas on our website. Mm, it's and, so good. 
a demo. I demoed it for another event and that's on YouTube too. So I'll link that demo so you can see how it's mm -hmm. put together. There's my favorite food of all time, green chili rellenos, mm. which is, if you oh don't gosh. know, it's a whole green chili and typically it's stuffed with cheese. Mm -hmm. So obviously we use a vegan cheese and then- Or you, avocado. And then it's dipped in batter mm -hmm. and then it's deep fried. Mm -hmm. And then you pour more green chili on top of it, like <laughs> cho cheese. chopped green chili yep. or a green chili sauce or something like that. And more cheese on mm -hmm. top, of course. Mm -hmm. Or to veganize it, some people use avocado. Mm -hmm. That's like the vegan version. i never seen avocado before. The vegan, that's not, yeah. That's not like a traditional thing. I've seen no. anyway, maybe other people have. But the avocado can like take the place of the cheese because it's just like fat and creamy. Yeah. And when it's all smothered in green chili and like deep fried, it's fine. It's the creamy I think you're looking for on the inside. Right. So it and really the, does it well. Yeah. The batter typically has egg, but there's vegan ways to do it. Mm -hmm. You can get it. You can get a vegan version at one restaurant in Albuquerque, La Salita. La Salita but you yes. can also make it at home pretty easily. And we... Have the recipe on our website as well. It's mm -hmm. in our starter the, guide, in our Spanish starter guide, and then just separately. Sorry. And the kids, like, because sometimes we'll just get mini peppers, just the mini, like, tricolored peppers, mm -hmm. and roast those and batter them and fry them up. And the kids are just like, oh, my God, they're so good. Mm -hmm. They're so, so good. Yeah. We loved it. Like, we all love when we could get the green chili and do it with the green chili so good so anyway but poblano peppers you can also do it with poblano peppers uh -huh. yeah and i feel like that's sort of like the mexican traditional way to do reynos is with the poblano peppers mm -hmm. and the new mexican way is with the hatch, hatch green chili yeah. but either way it's glorious it's and delicious so delicious yes and highly recommend it and yeah. it's not that hard to do the vegan one trust me it's not tony i waited them years out pretty quickly. because yeah. i was overwhelmed i thought it was gonna be so hard and yada yada and then it's not it's not <laughs> I attended a webinar by another amazing chef and I learned some tricks and then I, you know, adapted and figured it out. And it's like, this is, yep. it was silly. Anyway, other obvious ways to have green chili, green chili stew. Yeah. And you can make any stew you want and add green chili to it. Yeah. Or you can do like In New Mexico, recipes. there's a very specific like green chili stew mm -hmm. is usually meat, potatoes and green chili mm -hmm. and lots and lots of garlic. Anyway, that's garlic how. Garlic and onion. And garlic and onion. And that's how your grandpa used to make mm -hmm. it. And so that's for you, the comforting. That's comfort. That's soul food. Yeah. You just pick a vegan meat that you like. Yep. And that's it. And use vegetable broth instead yeah. of meat broth. And, uh, and, and done. That's it. And we've made it with the seitan chunks mm -hmm. and the like grounds. Mm -hmm. And both are delicious. Mm -hmm. Yes. You can't, you can't go wrong. Mm -mm. Uh, also obvious tacos. Mm -hmm. Queso dip. Que we have yeah. uh, our famous cheese sauce that we talk about so much <laughs> yeah. whip that up and stir in some chopped roasted green chili and you have an amazing dip yes for gatherings for yourself yep for nachos or game day whatever you need to pour on anything you want to pour it oh on oh my gosh yes like pour it on a hot dog pour it on <laughs> you can pour it on a baked potato anything. man oh my goodness That'd oh it's so good on baked potatoes yeah, we've done is. that before so good all right so that's lots of obvious things. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about some maybe obvious, obvious to a lot of New Mexicans, but maybe new ideas. Green chili for breakfast. Oh my gosh. It's, oh my Put God. it on anything, but we love it on our tofu breakfast bake. Yes. Oh my gosh. The tofu breakfast bake, green chili, and eggy sauce. Mm -hmm. oh. the, which is the eggy sauce is the yolk quote unquote from our fried egg recipe so oh you just gosh. make that like the yolk and pour it on there and it's you, oh my gosh you guys please the best thing in the world but any right <laughs> right <laughs> but any breakfast thing any like, like even if egg like you just, food yeah. like if you make a vegan omelet mm -hmm. or like just egg yeah or, or even if you just like saute up some tofu slices mm -hmm. you know tofu scramble it's mm -hmm. really delicious but or like breakfast potatoes yeah. hash browns mm -hmm. or you do like a skillet type of thing yep i'll make some grits and throw some green chili on my grits <laughs> <laughs> like i'm not surprised <laughs> sky's the limit there and in breakfast burritos of course chili is yeah, yeah green chili is just everything all right we like to put it on pizza yeah i mean put veggies put whatever you want vegan meats or not or just 
just green Plain chili. vegan cheese yep. pizza with green, green chili. chili. It's so good. It's glorious. Mm-hmm. We like to put it on burgers. Of co- Yes. Green chili cheeseburger. Oh my gosh, you guys, yes. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and our favorite type is Beyond Burger, in case you haven't listened. <laughs> and then, this is, I love to put it on my mashed potatoes I for think the holidays. So, yes. And basically, any... Like I'll like this is what what goes down. So it's an essential part of our holiday. It meal. really is. Yes. Whenever we gather for the holidays, you know, and we do like a a roast, mm-hmm. like a tofurkey roast or whatever. We do mashed potatoes and gravy and yams and yada Creaming, all the yeah. things. And then there's a big pot of green chili, of mm-hmm. course, because I'll like make my plate. You know how like quote unquote normal people do. Yeah. And everyone does. And then I'll just like pour green chili all over the. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's literally all smothered in green chili. Actually, I think the only thing you don't smother in green chili on that plate is green bean casserole. Yeah. I mean, some like spills in, but the green bean the casserole, casserole yeah. the yams, and if there's like cranberry sauce. Yeah. Maybe that but just But all gets the like up. savory but stuff. But everything else, especially like, yeah, whatever roast we do, just uh-huh. throw green chili all over it. Yeah. And this is where like some people I've heard say that for the holidays they do red chili instead of green Mm. because they do it instead of gravy like on your mashed potatoes okay yeah instead of putting gravy on they put red chili instead of putting gravy on like the turkey or Mm -hmm. whatever they put red they put red chili but you do that with green but i do that with green and that's what my family always did maybe because my grandpa was like so into he was like the green chili I don't know what the I word is to use. Aficionado or something. I mean, he yes. ate green chili like three, 365. Yeah, he like, did. He made sure to day. have the ability to have green chili every single day, year round, multiple times a day if he wanted to. And he would eat a bowl of it just like there was, it was a bowl of green chili and there was like four cubes of meat in that entire <laughs> bowl and like some maybe onion and garlic. But other than that, it was like 95% green chili. Yeah. Green chili. And he would, that was his like, breakfast right (laughs) so maybe that was our thing but anyway you know holidays Mm -hmm. or whatever so those are some of like the more obvious Uh, obvious, or just like this is how we like to do it yeah now let's talk about some other things that people might not have tried before or Mm -hmm. thought of so the first one is pinwheels these are so good you guys you just take a tortilla you put some vegan cream cheese on it the whole thing and then you sprinkle green chili a little bit garlic a little bit of salt roll it up slice up your things put them on the side and it looks like a pinwheel right delicious you, you slice it kind of like sushi yeah. just yes, people like, like a yes. visual yeah and then it looks like a little pinwheel mm-hmm. and you just eat it as a snack mm-hmm. or a side or whatever so good our favorite yes. cream cheese is tofu yes but you could use any plain cream yeah. cheese you just kind of spread a thin layer yeah. or not thin whatever your <laughs> ancestors tell you to do yes. when you're making it and yeah she said sprinkle a little green chili i'm like or a lot like or a lot yep and uh, then just roll it up oh it's so good yeah all right it's really good we're gonna so. have to have it again soon <laughs> <laughs> another you know good one while well, we've already talked about this green chili chicken alfredo pasta mm-hmm. right add yep. it to your pasta and it goes really good with the Alfredo because oh, it's like that, creamy. The cheesy, the creamy, cheesy. Goodness. Green chili pairs really well with cheese. Mm-hmm. So, you know, mac and cheese, add some green chili. Mm-hmm. Green chili mac. Like, yep. Super good. Yes. And even the Alfredo, people are really Alfredo. Yes. 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 Mm-hmm. Especially with that chicken, like oh a, God, whatever yes. faux chicken you want. But yeah. they're all good. All the like meal starters, quote yeah. unquote, or like the chicken strips. Mm-hmm. The, like the morning star and yeah saute up yeah really good another good one that you just brought up that i forget about is green chili cornbread yes so you just make your cornbread however you're gonna make it Mm -hmm. hopefully you figured out a vegan way to do it uh we figured out some pretty decent ones i think the one that i that we did was from the sweet potato soul so good yes we made her cornbread and you could just make that and then just add some green chili in when you're mixing your batter yeah and then green chili cornbread. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. With like like a nice big pot of bean chili. I always have to specify what kind of chili. I <laughs> can't just I grew say up, a bowl of chili because yeah, then you can't I say think bowl what of my chili. grandpa used yes, to eat. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas I say chili and I'm like the one with the eye on the end. Chili with an eye on the end, not with the E on the end. Uh, right. Yeah. So 
really delish. But basically, mm-hmm. yeah, green chili cornbread. That. And then there's you. It goes good with desserts. Mm-hmm. Surprisingly, huh? Surprisingly, so that you can make a green chili apple pie. We've got that recipe on the website. Yeah. You can have green chili apple fritters. Yes. Oh my gosh, you guys. We yes. Like, we like to get them at Rebel Donut. They oh make gosh. vegan ones yep. every so often. Whenever they have them, I'm we like, get them. Yeah. I have to have it. Mm-hmm. I've looked at recipes to make them at home. They don't look too terribly hard. They don't. I think fritters in general, especially the like apple fritters, because I've looked as well. They're mm-hmm. a little more labor intensive than the norm right and while you have to fry them yeah and i hate deep frying stuff at home it's just a pain yeah and so that's why we don't really do it but you could but you could and it doesn't look that hard and add green chili to it because it goes it just pairs so well with apple maybe it's the apple that i was gonna say you know what we should try Hmm. apple crisp with green chili oh yes green chili apple crisp there you go because it goes really well with apple. It's that like sweet and spicy mm-hmm. situation that going on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, we'll try that next and get back to y'all. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Mm-hmm. There's also green chili jelly. Yes. That I, you can get in New Mexico. You could probably order it online. Yes. I think that year that I got you some for Christmas, I just found it at Sprouts. Mm-hmm. Like in that they have like a, they usually have like a chili island display or something and mm-hmm. it was on there and now listen when i first heard that i was like that's gonna be gross and i'm the green chili i love green chili and everything and i'm like mm-hmm. i i have a line <laughs> or i thought i did but at the time i was like i have a line i don't think jelly is the way to go mm. and then i went to some holiday party one time at work and then they had crackers a, a friend of mine was like oh you know tony did you have some of this i'm like no i don't do chili jelly <laughs> and she was like you're going to tr- like she's like, have you tried it? And I'm like, no, she's like, you're going to try this. Mm-hmm. And you take a cracker and you spread some cream cheese uh-huh. on it. And then you put the chili jelly mm-hmm. on that. And I was like, where has this been my entire life? <laughs> You've been a snob. <laughs> That's where it's been. <laughs> so I realized that. D- well, here's the thing, because now I might have a line where we're going to we'll see because that was delicious. So highly recommend chili jelly or even red chili jelly. I, I was lo- going to say, I it love, does come in red as well. I love all of that. We recently just got a jelly that was a uh, raspberry habanero. habanero yeah. And it was like spicy. It's really good. Yes. The sweet and spicy. Sweet and spicy. Something about it. Yeah. And actually, I had that on a biscuit with the Morningstar sausage mm-hmm. like for breakfast with the jelly. And it was so good. And so I think that that with green chili jelly would be, would be so really good. Would be really good too, yeah. That's a really great way to to pair it. But what I find that I haven't tried yet, and this is how far us New Mexicans take the green chili, is you can get green chili wine. Oh, that's right. And I see that in the stores and I'm like, this is where I think I have a line. But I haven't tried it yet, so I better not talk. Right. You can't talk papas. Part of me, though, is just like like I just fear the heartburn. (laughs) Like wine and green chili, you know, my esophagus gets a little scared. (laughs) So I don't know, but. Okay. I mean, that's valid. valid, That is a valid concern. (laughs) And uh, maybe I should try it because I don't know. Like the jelly and jams, they don't taste like what I thought they would taste taste like. like... Because your brain can't figure it out until you try it. Yeah. So maybe the wine, like. Maybe your brain isn't figuring it out yet. I'm going to feel a little like going out on a limb and I'm going to try it and then I'll let you know how it is. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So we'll get back to you on green chili (laughs) apple crisp and green chili wine. Maybe around like the holidays or something. Yes. I'm in a jolly mood. Yeah. Like let's let's go for it. Let's just go. Maybe we'll find a little wine tasting (laughs) that has some or something. So there you go. That's what we'll, we'll look for. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but. All right. So that's a lot of ideas. Like, it is. And like we said, we could go on all day and yeah. night, but I think that's a lot of good ideas to get you started. Do mm-hmm. you have any others that kind of came to your mind before we wrap up? I don't think so. I was just trying to think like, what is my favorite though? Oh, that's a good question. What is your favorite? <sighs> I think it, of course, like all my answers, it depends on my mood at the time. <laughs> That's all. And that's typical Mickey. Today's favorite is not yesterday's, <laughs> today's favorite. 
I mean, there. And chances are, tomorrow's <laughs> won't be the same as either one. This is yes, this is true. <laughs> but I'm trying to. So so then for me, what I'm trying to figure out is what when I think of it always sounds good. Mm. And I think I it's, know what it is. I think it's the tofu breakfast bake with green chili and eggy sauce. Oh, that's not what I thought you were going to say. But okay. I think it's that. Mm-hmm. Well, it's one of the main ones. What What do you think? I thought you were going to say a stuffed sopapilla. Oh, my gosh. The stuffed sopapillas. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I, we didn't even talk about We that. didn't. Oh, my gosh. You guys, stuffed sopapillas. Okay. So you might have to cut this and put it someplace else. <laughs> or just leave it here. Or just leave flow it, it Let it flow. flow. It. Because the stuffed sopapillas. Sopapilla is another thing that I didn't really know about very much anyway until I came to New Mexico. And it is delicious. Mm-hmm. So good. Like how like it's fried bread. But it's puffy and yummy. I don't know how else to right. explain it. Kind of similar to fry bread, if people know what fry, fry bread, bread is. And yeah. if you don't, then we're terrible at explaining it. Yeah. What's well, like fried bread? You so basically you make a you dough take a dough and you, and you fry. roll it out. Yeah. And typically you cut it into like a square. That's how mm-hmm. I've always seen it. And then you deep fry deep it. Deep fry it. And it kind of puffs, puffs up yes. and it looks like a little pillow. Oh my gosh. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. It just looks like a little doughy bread lovely. pillow mm-hmm. yeah fried bread pillow oh my gosh fried dough pillow it's and delicious. it's like fluffy mm-hmm. and so you typically what a lot of people do is just eat it for dessert with like yeah. just with honey that's the typical thing so we like to do honey alternatives you know mm-hmm. there's like the vegan honey from apples or i like it with agave yeah or and just cinnamon sugar, cinnamon sugar, sugar. Yeah. just sprinkle some cinnamon sugar on, especially if it's fresh and it's got a little tinge of like the oil because it's like fresh out of Mm -hmm. the fryer and then you sprinkle the cinnamon sugar on top and it kind of sticks and then it's super good but it's also amazing savory of course oh my gosh and so so the stuffed sopapillas is obviously i like i like mine stuffed with whole beans and they like because it puffs up like a pillow you can kind of like cut a little opening and put the beans inside and then you can smother it in green chili and cheese and then top it with lettuce and tomato so so good so Here's where we're both right. What I actually make, the tofu breakfast bake with eggy sauce and green Mm, chili. That's your favorite. That's my favorite because of what we make. But obviously, like, sopapillas are not quick and easy for me. Maybe if I start making them more, I I can make them quick and easy, but they're not. But when I go out, that's if they have a vegan stuffed sopapilla, that is literally what I get. I don't even look at anything else. La Hacienda, I've never tried anything else. Mm -hmm. That's That's why I said that. That's why I knew that. So, yes, we're both right. There you go. <laughs> For dining in and dining out. And they're so good. I always want to get them. But if there's a vegan, vegan Rayano, Rayano, then I you get that. have yeah. to get that. And I just can't get anything else. Yes. I just can't do it. Yep. But I always want like a bite of yours because it looks so good. Yes. And if there's and no, Rayano's do... not an option, then I'll happily get a stuff. Yes. Yeah. And it, it's delicious it's yeah we we do bite for bite usually. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's what we our say in say. our house. Bite, bite for bite. bite. Yep. <laughs> And so, obviously, your favorites are, I think I know. <laughs> what do you think? The chili ranch no? mm-hmm. and green chili stew. Mm, I think you're right. I think you're right. I mean, everything else is probably a close second. Quote everything unquote. else. Everything else. I thought I might be leaning toward the, the tofu, tofu breakfast, breakfast bake, bake with the eggy sauce and the green chili, but think you're right it doesn't make me it doesn't make my heart happy like green chili stew exactly does. yes especially if mickey is being extra fabulous and making homemade tortillas <laughs> mm-hmm. to go with it uh, yeah mm-hmm. and then we're good then that's the best dinner in yeah the entire or world. like i'll make the homemade tortillas and you make the green chili stew mm-hmm. perfect tag team yes. yes let's do that tomorrow night <laughs> okay <laughs> uh, all right so that was Hopefully you're Lots inspired. Hopefully you laughed. Hopefully we gave you some <laughs> new ideas and it wasn't just the same old, same old because New Mexicans really, you know, yeah, go there. If it wasn't your thing before, hopefully we made green chili a lot more appealing yes. to you now. You had to do All it. Right, I had to. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, catch you so next go time. Go forth. Enjoy your green chili. Try some things out. Let yep. us know what you like. Let us know what we missed. Mm-hmm. And... Hopefully we see you at the webinar. Yes, hopefully we'll see you at the webinar. Don't forget to register and see you next time. Thanks for joining us. We release new episodes every two weeks. You can always email us at plantbased at apnm.org. Check out our website, apnm.org slash plantbased for classes, recipes, and more resources. See you in two weeks.